Now with our one on one with actress Margot Robbie, who's already getting some Oscar buzz for her role in Bombshell. I'm such a big fan. It's the blockbuster film based <laughs> on the scandal that rocked the Fox News empire and ultimately brought down the man who created it. Chris Connolly sat down with her. Everyone has their own truth. Margot Robbie has spent 2019 building on her Oscar nominated performance in I, Tanya with acclaimed work as Sharon Tate in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's me. I play Miss Carlson, the klutz. Now, in the buzzed about drama, Bombshell. I don't want to be on TV. I want to be on Fox. I like that you play roles in which people, your characters, want to be good at their jobs. Oh, yeah, I never really, um, I never really noticed that about the characters I play. That's probably coming a lot from me. I, <laughs> I always want to be better at my job. I think I'd be freaking phenomenal on your network. Based on the scandal that rocked Fox News, Bombshell stars Charlize Theron as Megyn Kelly. Wait, am I going to be the story? No. No. I'm going to be the story. No. Nicole Kidman as Gretchen Carlson. You're sexy, but you're too much work. I have a whole list. And the 29-year-old Robbie Everybody. as Kayla, a composite character whose their... aspirations and outlook put her in the crosshairs of the predatory Fox News chief, Roger Ailes. But have I ever demanded sex during a casting session? I've never experienced sexual harassment in the workplace, um, not in Hollywood and not other places I've worked. As a woman in the world, have I ever received unwanted sexual advances? Yeah tons all the time. I just had never considered it as sexual harassment, really, until I read this script. I could pluck you out and move you to the front of the line. In the film, Roger Ailes harasses Kayla without even getting up from his chair. You know, he's across the room and he harasses her. Uh, and I hadn't really considered the lack of physical touching. I need to know that you're loyal. I need you to find a way to prove it. I'm the bad guy. When I realized that, my God, if I can't even define sexual harassment, how many people out there also can't? To prepare for her role, Robbie went undercover on social media. I just started a fake Twitter account and... Would you tweet as this fake no, Twitter person? No, 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 no. I was okay. just observing and, <laughs> and uh, absorbing, yeah. It was helpful to see how young millennial women spoke about their politics when they were conservative and Republican. What moved you about her story? I think she starts with a very specific, strong point of view on the world and her workplace. And by the end of the film, she has a completely different outlook and is forever changed. Why didn't Gretchen quit and sue instead of suing only after she got fired? Why didn't she complain? Why didn't she complain, really? He means the anonymous hotline. The There's hotline. a hotline? Yeah. That's such a challenging question. It is, it is. How Megan's saying kind of every, every man and woman for themselves and Kayla's like, no, it's all of our job to look out for each other. But also it's sort of like a generational different point of view. Points of view are many whenever a real life story is told on screen. Megan Kelly posting her thoughts on the movie, noting in part, I have nothing to do with this film, that she'd seen it past the point of possible edits, though there are certainly some I would have made and that watching it was an incredibly emotional experience. The interesting thing about this movie is that it seems to really incite conversation. People finish the movie and they just want to share stories, their experiences, things that happened to them. What do you hope people leave this movie feeling? Yeah, I, I'm happy if people are moved by this movie and sexual harassment isn't a problem just for women to solve. Just because mainly women are the victims of sexual harassment in most cases, it doesn't mean that it's their job to figure it all out and fix it. I think that's everyone's job. For Good Morning America, Chris Connolly, ABC News in Hollywood. And Bombshell is in theaters right now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.